Hi everyone, and welcome back to the Energy Research Lab. Today we are going to be looking at identifying kinetic energy and potential energy. This is Unit 1, Chapter 1, Lesson 3. Although you may already have the definition of these words from our vocabulary quiz, we're going to look in depth on how these ideas might play a role in how this can solve the problems that we have with the with the rescue workers. So during the warm up, which you should have already completed before class, the question is, is riding a bike a way to travel that doesn't use energy? Most of you identify the, the concept that it has to have energy because it's moving. So whenever something moves or changes, it's because of energy. So if the bike moves, there must be some energy. So I would like you guys to pause um, the video and go into the sorting tool. And I'm going to turn into the sorting tool right here. And I want you guys to look at evidence of energy. And I'm just going to reset this. Yeah, Evidence you can see. So you can see the fan spinning because the things are moving. This has nothing moving, moving, not moving, moving, not moving, moving, not moving. And you can sort the rest on your own. When you're ready, click hand in. And then you could go back into the Amplify page and you will see your work is posted here. And you can go on and click on to Potential Energy. I'm going to go back to the slideshow so I can go over some things before we see our demonstration. So again, when something moves or, change, it's, moves or changes, it's because of energy. We're investigating how do you know something has energy. You sorted the objects into you can see it moving and you can't see it moving. I'm going to skip a few slides here. So let's take a look at the two definitions. Kinetic is energy that has that is moving. Whereas potential energy is energy that is stored in an object or system that can move. Kinetic is when it's actually moving and potential is it has the ability to move. So you're going to organize again some of these bins. And we have here the fan not spinning, the soccer ball, the light, the light from the sun. There's no physical movement, but we'll look into these objects a little later in this unit. But I want you guys to identify that when something is moving, it has kinetic energy. And when something has the ability to make things move or change in the future, it has potential energy, even if it's not moving or changing now or at that time. So if we go back to the bike story, The object is moving, so it has kinetic energy. But we're going to look at does the bike itself have energy or does that energy come from somewhere else? Remember that key concepts can be used as evidence and reasoning when writing a CER response. Hi everyone and welcome back to my living room. Time for some big brain time. All right. So let's take a look at this object. I have this little wind up tool. And right now, if I leave it alone, it doesn't do anything. Let me see if I can put it in there. It doesn't do anything at all. And I want you to take a guess. Does this object have energy? No, it doesn't move or change. Now there is something I could do to make this move. 
And I'm going to use the wind up. Now, the object right now is not moving. But we know, based on how we are familiar with wind up toys, that this object can move if I let it go. This is potential energy. When I wound up the gear, when I wound up the gear, it stored energy inside the toy. And the minute I let it go, it's going to start moving. So right now we have potential energy because I wound up the toy. Now, if I put it on the table and release him, he's moving. And this is kinetic energy. His potential energy is diminishing because he's using it and he's starting to walk. Now, there's no energy at all. He's not moving and he doesn't have the, oh, he has a little bit left. He doesn't have the ability to walk. There is no energy left inside of him. So this has no energy. The minute I turn the knob, I'm winding it. And now there's potential energy. Potentially, because I know that once I release it, he will begin walking. And there is the kinetic energy. Welcome back from that little demonstration with the wind-up toy. We're going to spend a few minutes, the last few minutes, reflecting on some of these concepts. So on Amplify in Activity 4, you're going to write about the, one of these four objects and whether or not it has potential energy. You could choose any of them and that would be just fine. You only have to write for one of them. But let's go back to the idea of reflecting. Now that we saw the wind up toy, when I didn't do anything to it, it had no energy. When I wound up the toy, it had potential energy. And when I released the toy, it had kinetic energy. So if we look at the bike situation from earlier in this lesson, if I left the bike alone, there was no energy. When the person sits on the bike and pedals and moves the gears, just like I moved the gears on the wind-up toy, it gives it energy and it begins to move. I want you to think about how these concepts of giving an object energy can help us solve the problem for getting energy to the rescue workers without charging. And that's actually gonna be your homework assignment today. There's two questions on the homework page. I believe it's two questions, let me check. Yes, two questions, and you're gonna answer. What is one way that kinetic energy might be involved in the rescue team missions? And there was one way that potential energy might be involved in the rescue team missions. We're gonna continue exploring ways that these two types of energy will help us solve the problem in getting energy to the rescue workers.